So the question is select the alternative that logically follows from the two given statements. One, all shares are debentures. Two, no debentures are deposits. The options are A, all shares are deposits, some shares are deposits, no shares are deposits, and none of the above. So these questions are known as syllogism questions. It is nothing but what will be the next flow? What will be the next flow? Two statements are given. You will have to find out the next flow. Don't go by the exact meanings of shares, debentures and deposits. Don't go by the exact meaning of the shares, debentures and deposits. Just follow the flow. So I normally follow the just the flow. But for the sake of convenience, I am just or for the sake of understanding, I am using the Venn diagram type of a thing. So what happens is here, it says all shares are debentures. So share will become a subset of debentures. These are all shares. These are all shares. Shares, all shares are debentures means the outer circle will be debenture. The outer circle will be debenture. So all shares are debentures. What I am 100% sure is all my shares will be debentures. But I cannot say all debentures are shares. But I can definitely say some debentures are shares. Some debentures are shares. Now the next statement is no debentures are deposits. So there will be no relationship between debenture and deposits. So totally there are totally two distant places. These are all deposits. These are all deposits. Because no debentures are deposits. And since all shares are debentures, no share can be deposit. The answer is no shares are deposit. The answer is C. No shares are deposits. Subscribe to my channel, which is free of cost. I will be adding questions every now and then. Wish you all the best.